um, down the stretch, I would have got the knockout. I would have made him surrender, you know, wave the white flag. But uh, he fought his heart out. I fought my heart out. And we put on a pleasing performance tonight. You've often talked about boxing as entertainment. You came to the ring in, as a as a gladiator. Uh, a gladiator. <laughs> what do you think this was particularly entertaining? I mean, there were people booing. There were people leaving after the 10th and 11th round. And since you brought the subject up, I want your response. Well, you know, you always give me a hard time. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't ever give me the credit that I really deserve. You got, a, you got you know a shutout. Saying? You got a shutout. Yeah, we all give you credit yeah, for that. Yeah, but I appreciate it. But you'll never give me the credit I really deserve. I um, mean, you're, you're good at commentating, so stick to commentating. Let me do the fighting. I'm the best at what I do. That's why I'm with HBO. HBO is my family. HBO is my, HBO is my home. And like I said before, you can learn boxing. Cutting my cap, you can learn boxing from pretty boy floor. You're just a commentator. Stick to commentating. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing, and I'm asking you well, the question. You know, uh, it's, it's more like this. Don't, don't always be a critic and be so negative. Let's be positive. I got the victory tonight on, on, in, under any circumstance. So all you can do is respect me for that. Every time a fighter come out there, you, you, I know you keep your fingers crossed. We do it. No, we do you, ho you, you hoping and wishing that a fighter can beat me. No, no, I'm the king of the throne, and Floyd Mayweather is here to stay. Uh, just, I can win under any circumstances. You always talk. Let me do the no, talk. No, no, everybody talk. wants That's what you everybody always wants Let me do the talk. see you in a good fight. HBO, I love you. This pretty boy, Floyd, the best of the best, the creme de la creme. Him. Filthy Rich Records is what it is. I'm the best. I'll be fighters under any circumstances. I can pull it through it. Do Larry you, Merchant is just a commentator. He don't know nothing about boxing. Do you, do you still, are you looking forward to fighting Oscar De La Hoya? Do you think this fight will get him into the ring with you? Well, uh, well absolutely. Uh, Oscar, if Oscar De La Hoya wanted, you know, he know my number. He know how to call me. He know how to get in touch with me. Only thing I'm going to do is keep it. Just missed it. with a left that might have sent Morales home early. Morales comes back with a straight left hand and dropping rights and Morales landed a good job. Eric tries to load up on one big punch and misses it. Pacquiao is getting more and more accurate. As now it looks almost like Morales is the one who's off balance. And then he has, he has, he has no legs. It is very, very, very weak. It would not be surprised for me to see him go down. His hands don't move at the same speed and Pacquiao's more and more assertive as the fight goes on. And going more to the body, Jim. And Eric Morales backed away to avoid contact, something you may never previously have seen. And he almost did go down on that shot. Yeah, he's fighting, but his legs are so weak that at any time he can go. There he goes. Good call, Manny. That's the first real knockdown of Eric Morales' career. Totally exhausted. And it seems like he has the same expression that Barrera had on his face when he fought Pacquiao. And now Morales is going to fall farther behind on the scorecards unless he can knock Pacquiao down. But it's almost impossible to imagine it now. It's over. There's the second knockdown and the stoppage. Manny Pacquiao has knocked out the great Eric. He can totally increase. Yes. It is a war. It is a two war. And this is what makes great fights. When you have fighters who are willing to fight anyone and they have exciting styles themselves, that's good for boxing. Excellent. What? Do you think this was particularly entertaining? I mean, there were people booing. There were people leaving after the 10th and 11th round.